Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. I want to talk a little bit. Uh, the last video I talked about comping and recording takes, and I feel like this video I should probably talk about loop recording. It's not something that I do a whole lot, but people who have used it and love it, they really love it, and it's something that Studio One does pretty well. So loop record, we'll use the same track we used in that last video. It's essentially like recording takes, except you don't have to stop and change anything. You just set up a loop, and it can be a loop of a chorus, this is how you set up loops, remember. Activate the loop by hitting backslash. And this section will now loop. Now we know how loops work for playback, right? We hit play and it just keeps looping and looping and looping. If we have loop record enabled, then if we record something, it'll just keep recording over and over this same section. The only place I use this a ton is for guitar solos. If I'm just really want to just try things out and I'd like to just play it over and over, but if I land on something and play it, awesome and I know I'll never play it like that again, it's nice to have the recording going so I can go back and capture that. So the way this works, uh, you have to make sure loop recording is enabled. So easy way to do that is to just type in loop in the search field to find where it is. That's what I do all the time. And you can say loop record takes or loop record mix. Loop record takes is what we're talking about in this video, which means every time the loop goes through, it records a new take or a new layer, okay? Let's move to this vocal two track so we don't get confused. So this vocal two track, as of right now, does not have any layers but the main one, okay? And let's expand the layer. Actually, let's just do it first without expanding and then I'll show it to you. So I hit record and now we're singing and we're playing our guitar and then it comes back again and we do it again. And it comes back again and we do it again and we're feeling good and we stop, okay? Now, you'll notice this region looks different than any other region you'll see in Studio One. That's because this region has been loop recorded and has different takes underneath it. So if you right click on this region, you can see now, look at this, it's got the takes right here. So you can actually go through and select each different take. If you look over under the layer section, there's still just one layer. So this is where it gets a, can be a little confusing if you don't take care of it on the front end. So here, it's kind of everything's packed into this one, it's like a track within a track. This one chunk of audio has been basically has different layers to it underneath that you can only get to by double click by right clicking on it and selecting the take that you want. Now, I don't like to do that because I tend to forget where they are. If you're not worried about forgetting and you can remember that that tiny little rectangle means that there are takes underneath, then great. But there's no way to quickly audition between them and there's no real way to comp between them if you like maybe the first half of the solo for the second take and the last half of the solo for the third take and you want to combine those together. The best way to do that is to simply right click and see where it says unpack takes. It gives us some options. We can unpack them to completely new tracks, which may be helpful if you're recording, say you're recording a rhythm guitar part and you know you want to double it. Maybe you just loop record and you play through it twice and then you have it unpack that take to two tracks, pan them left and right, you've got your doubles really quickly. I just came up with that right now, and that sounds like a really cool way to do it. I might do that <laughs> on my next tracking session. Um, unplay, unpack takes to new layers, unpack takes to existing layers. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Since we don't have any existing layers, we're going to click this. Now, you'll see it unpacked them. Let me, let me do that again. It's kind of magical. Unpack takes to new layers. So it created new layers. We can see over here there are now layers labeled take one, two, and three. Um, and it expanded our track as well so we can see them all. So now we can come in just like we said before and we can do any sort of comping. So since it's expanded them, we can delete this guy and now we can come in and say, yes, that was amazing. This part was pretty awesome. And then this rocked my face off. And we have our comp together, beautiful, okay? Just another kind of twist on comping but using loop record to do it. If you haven't experimented with it, try it. It's especially helpful if you're recording yourself and you have to step away from your computer to go pick up the guitar and stand up to the microphone, whatever it is you're doing. Um, and you can just know that it's just loop recording. As long as you're going to get it right and not do a lot of starting and stopping, it's a cool way to do that without having to come back to the computer every 10 seconds to start things over. Something cool to add to your arsenal. Thanks for watching.